you doing well? Are you taking your time? Do you carry your heart? Heavy as mine. Are you walking the long road? Or trying to fly? Oh, I always thought you'd be the one by my side. Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, 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 I do want to let you know this is going to be one of the most powerful readings you have ever had with your girl. This reading is going to touch lives of many and this reading is actually active through March 11th. 2024 so from today until march 11th 2024 we are going to get into an abundance of energies that is surrounding the collective on a whole if you've been following my channel right for however long i've been doing tarot energy readings clairvoyant readings you know when I had that one reading when I said, we are all energy. I also said, we all have that godlike gene. We are a stem or an extension of God. So if God created everything, we are a version of him because God, everything came from nothing. So we in turn are an extension of him experiencing life through many different lenses or many different perspectives of what life should be. So in that case, if energy never dies and energy only transfers, we are all interconnected in some way, shape or form. Just follow me and just hear me out. This is going to be such a powerful reading for you. And if you have paid for this reading, you are going to be in for a ride, <laughs> okay? So this energy has been surrounding me for the last couple of days, since, actually since Venus entered um, Aquarius on February 16th. This energy has been uh, manifesting itself and growing stronger and stronger and stronger. So for those of you who don't know, Pluto is actually in Aquarius, I believe through September 1st of this year. The crazy thing about that is when Pluto enters Aquarius, it actually brings about transformation, growth, um, actually tapping into your subconscious energy. It's an energy that surround it, surrounds the collective to do things that they normally would not have done otherwise. This energy is forcing you to end things that is not right for you, forcing you to step into a new version of yourself that is for the betterment of self. With that being said, now we coincide with the energy of Venus excuse me, Venus in Aquarius. This energy is more spontaneous. It's about action. It's about love. It's about embracing things that is right for you and is right for self. So I want to make this very clear for some of you. You may have already started to receive unexpected text messages unexpected phone calls. Hey, Stink, I miss you. I love you. Oh, these are things that some of you have wanted for a long, 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 long time. And I'm going to use me as an example because we are a collective, right? Energetic, energetically, whether you guys want to believe it or not, we are all one. This is why when you think of someone out of nowhere, right? Like let's say you've never thought of this person for a while and then all of a sudden you think of them and then miraculously either within that day or within a couple of days you hear from this person, right? Maybe through a text or a call or maybe it's a conversation that's being had about this person that you haven't spoken of in a while, 
right? And I'm not talking about for those people who are constantly thinking about the person every day, every night, every day, because they're trying to manifest this energy. That's not how, how manifestation works, right? I'm talking about these people who you may just have that whim thought, you know? And it's like, why am I thinking about this person all of a sudden? And that's because they are thinking of you. So for those of you who are constantly trying to manifest somebody back into your life or constantly thinking about them, they are having that experience. Like, okay, now all of a sudden I'm thinking about Susan, right? And Susan's the one who wants Jerry back in his life, back in her life. But Jerry is having these deja vus or these random thoughts about Susan, even though Jerry has moved on or Jerry is trying to not think about Susan or is not even thinking about Susan altogether. But he will have these thoughts because Susan is constantly thinking about Jerry. So I'm here to tell you, this is going to be one of the biggest manifestation periods of your life. And we're gonna start this reading off with text message. Because like I said, for some of you, you are going to start receiving messages from people you've been manifesting from for forever. For some of you, you are going to receive messages that's actually going to reveal truths. For some of you here, there is third party energy that is being canceled out because it's being forced to be canceled out. For some of you, you are in a connected bond with someone. This soul tie you guys have is so strong that now is the time that divine intervention is taking place to bring you two back together because it's fate, it is destined, right? The energy pull between the two is so strong that there's no more fighting it. So let's get into what this text message energy is about. 